channel my name is Taya for those of you who don't know and for those of you who do know thank you for tuning in to watch a, another video I know I look a mess this specifically looks a mess but that's the whole point of this video so I'm going to revert my hair back from straight to curly I know some of y'all like probably didn't even know that my hair was straight but yes I had it straight I've had it straight for two weeks as of yesterday went and got it done and then that was also my first time straightening my hair in a little under four years so i'm really really nervous about heat damage and i actually have a clip about my silk press blowout experience wasn't a good one um <laughs> Like I said, I've had it straight for two weeks and then like it looks really rough today because I went to the gym, worked out, so I was like sweating and doing all of that. So this is what we're working with. We're praying that I don't have heat damage and if I do, then we will just deal with it. So yeah, that's how it's looking right now. You know, a little, little oily, a little stiff, you know what I mean? Definitely doesn't look like I got it done yesterday. So. If you want to see me revert back from straight to curly or my natural texture and you want to see we will find out together so stay tuned so i got my hair straightened and i'm honestly not happy with it really mad actually i just i don't know i don't like it so when i called to book my appointment i said i have like type 4 really thick really kinky really curly natural hair I specifically asked who at that salon is really really good with natural hair and would not give me heat damage and the girl on the phone was like me like i can do it and then the person that i booked it with she wasn't there today for my appointment so i got stuck with someone who claims to know how to do it but does not have natural hair and i felt like she was just kind of ripping through it rushing i'm just not not satisfied with the whole experience and she also didn't give me a trim because her next appointment showed up so i'm gonna try to make it work and hopefully this can still turn into a really good birthday vlog because i was pissed i'm going to part my hair into two halves and i'm going to work on one side at a time but i do need to brush through it just a little bit because i'm not gonna act like it's not tangled or you know getting a little little wild so i just have this section pushed to the side i'm just going to use my spray bottle this is actually going to be the first time that i use this pre shampoo i use this brand all the time for their leave-in their jojoba oil and the curling cream and i like it a lot so i'm gonna be using these two products today and then i'm also just going to use a little bit of olive oil before i actually shampoo my hair that way it's moisturized and we're just we're just gonna see yeah i just want to give you all a texture shot of what it's looking like right now um just because like i said it is starting to revert y'all i'm honestly so nervous i feel like i can't even express <laughs> how anxious i am because i really don't want heat damage i don't i mean you know like no one has a desire for that but after not having a good experience like now i'm just even more nervous okay and this stuff is kind of really tacky consistency like it could pour into my hand if i wanted it to <laughs> I'm just going to start off by putting a little bit of olive oil on the whole section again just because I want to restore as much moisture as I can before I wash it and shampoo it and strip all of the natural oils in my hair. So I do just want to rub that in, focus on my ends as usual, and section it off, work in smaller sections for this next part. going to take just a little bit, not very much. Um, Okay, and it's like very thin. Hopefully you can see that very thin consistency. Like runny, I wouldn't say thin, but it's runny. So I'm just gonna rub that in. It smells good, it kind of smells like peaches or, or something, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit more. Okay, we're starting to get a little something. I am getting so nervous. Why is it taking so long? <laughs> My hair's gonna be like dripping wet by the end of this. I don't know if y'all can see that, but like, yeah. 
<sighs> so I am getting a little something. I'm not gonna freak out just yet. I'm gonna add just a little bit of the jojoba oil. Not much at all. All right, we're just, we're just gonna keep going. Hope for the best. I'm feeling kind of okay about it. Not too bad. I will say like this top part up here, hopefully y'all can see that. It, I don't know if it's just gonna take it a little minute, but it, it is surely taking its time. And then also like, there are a few straggly pieces at the end, but overall I don't think the heat damage is too bad. I did get my shrinkage back. I think this front section is still kind of bouncing back, but I will show you guys the difference. Okay, so this is what we're working with. So I would say, even though I had a bad experience getting it done, it's not too bad. All right, I am gonna show you guys the back just so you can see it a little bit. I'm like moving all slow because my hair is just wet. All right, I am going to finish the rest of my head and I will show you guys in a few minutes. I would say for the most part, I really don't have any heat damage. Again, I have not washed my hair yet. This is just like the pre-poo treatment that I wanted to do. And this part is curling back up slowly, but I do see a few strands down here that are a little stringy at the bottom. I'm not like too, too upset about. I could easily just go through and like shape up my hair. I think if it comes down to that, that's just what I'll do. I'll show you guys the back and then I'm actually gonna finally wash my hair and style it. I'll probably do a wash and go tomorrow just because I really want to see my full texture. I'm fresh out of the shower. Right now I'm just doing a deep conditioning treatment. I applied it while I was in the shower. I am just gonna add a little bit of oil and then I'm going to leave that in my hair. Do y'all see that? Also, I'm aware um, my face is a little dry. Don't fret, I'm gonna moisturize. For those of you who don't know, I have a little bit of a tremor. I've been to the doctor for it, there's nothing wrong, but like it kind of freaks people out when they first see it. And they're always like, oh my God, are you okay? Yes, your girl is fine. I'm just, you know, a little shaky sometimes. Now that I have this in, this is just to seal in some of that moisture. Hands off. Dries my hands off with a wet t-shirt. Now, since I'm deep conditioning and I don't really feel like sitting under the little hooded blow dryer thing, I'm just going to put a bag over my head <laughs> and call it a day. And that's gonna produce a little heat, you feel me? Also, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all and act like this is gonna get taken off today because it's not. It's like, I don't know what time it is. I'm um, pretty sure it's probably like four o'clock though. I want to do wash and go to see my actual texture, but there's no way that it'd be dry by tonight. So I'm just gonna deep condition for the rest of the day. This is what we're rocking with. There's no method to the madness. I literally just put it on top of my head and tied it in the back so it'll stay. So yeah, this is all that I'm gonna do for today. Tomorrow I will rinse this out and then do my wash and go. Good morning. Um, it is the next day. Goodness. I rinsed out my deep conditioner and I did my wash and go. If you want to see my full wash and go routine, I do have a video uploaded on my channel and I will include it at the end of this video and down in the description below. But for the most part, I think it looks pretty good. My hair is not dry yet. So far, my hair has really good definition. As I stated yesterday, there are a few pieces that just aren't as springy, but Overall, like, I'm not too upset about it. Right now, like I said, I will come back and show you guys what it looks like when it's dry. I 
do have a lot of my shrinkage in the back, so I'm most likely going to stretch it like normal. Overall, pretty good. A few inches later. I have to make this really quick because I'm actually rushing and I cannot be late to work. But um, this is it. It is dried um, for the most part. There's like a section in the back of my head that is still a little damp. And that is why I could not do the wash and go that night. Um, but this is how it's looking. I went ahead and stretched it. I don't have the bands that I normally have. So I feel like it looks a little bit different for that reason. Because I stretch it a certain way. But this is how it looks. And then I just have it pinned up just so it's not directly in my face. Like I said, there are just a few sections that look a little bit stringier than they normally do. Won't lie and say that I don't have any heat damage from getting my hair straightened, but I don't think it is that bad. Like, I could do with this. With that being said, that is all for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.